so hello students good afternoon so uh, today uh, we will take the exercise 6 of uh, sequence and series chapter so in this uh, exercise uh, we will be particularly dealing with the questions on series uh, like uh, questions based on uh, method of summation whether it be a uh, sigma method of summation or method of difference including vn method and uh, also uh, we will uh, see the questions based on uh, arithmetic geometric progressions like we what we used to call it as agp so uh, without wasting any time uh, let's start our working on exercise number 6 so here's the first question it is saying the sum of first in terms of the series one series is given here 1 by 2 plus 3 by 4 plus 7 by 8 plus 15 by 16 and we have to find the sum of first in terms of this series so let's try to write the rth term of this series okay we will write the rth term of this series so what will be the rth term if you observe it will in denominator it's simple right in denominator it's uh, 2 raised to power r 2 raised to power r okay and in numerator it is 2 raised to power r minus 1 if you can observe it is 2 raised to power r minus 1 upon 2 raised to power r so this is our rth term for this particular series anyway uh, uh, any time we if we have any doubt we can uh, put the value of r and we can check whether our rth term what we have written is correct or not so uh, for time being let's i am putting it as r is equal to 3 so our uh, third term will be 2 raised to power 3 minus 1 upon 2 raised to power 3 so it will be 8 minus 1 that is 7 by 8 so here also our third term is 7 by 8 hence uh, our rth term what we have written is correct okay now we have to find the sum of uh, first n terms of this series so it will be sigma tr r going from 1 to n okay so we can further we write it as sigma r is equal to 1 to n what is our rth term it is 2 raised to uh, 2 raised to power r minus 1 upon 2r we can further uh, <laughs> rewrite our rth term as 1 minus 1 upon 2 raised to power r right so uh, this will be summation r going from 1 to n so uh, now uh, i will distribute this sigma over uh, both the terms and it will become 1 r raised to power 1 uh, sorry r going from 1 to n minus 1 upon 2 raised to power r r is going from 1 to n so uh, this thing will become n 1 plus 2 plus 3 uh, sorry this will become n because one it is uh, not having any r a r component in it so it will be 1 plus 1 plus 1 how many times n times so it will be basically n and what will be this this will 2 raised to power 1 put r equal to 1 it will be 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 2 q up to 1 upon 2 raised to power n so it is basically a gp this is a gp where the first term is where the first term is 1 by 2 and common ratio r is also 1 by 2 so we can write the uh, sum of n terms of a gp it will be a r raised to power n or we can say 1 minus r raised to power n upon 1 minus r 1 minus r right so for then uh, further we can rewrite it as 
n minus this one by two and this one by two, uh, this will become one by two in the denominator. So it will be canceled out. So it will become n minus one plus one upon two raised to power n. Further, we can write this as plus two raised to power minus one. So two raised to power minus n plus n minus one will be our answer. Two raised to power minus n plus n minus plus n minus one. So option C, option C is correct here. <clears throat> so this question is done. Let's move to the question number two. So here one product is given two raised to power one by four into four raised to power one by eight into eight raised to power one by 16 into 16 raised to power one by 32. So this product we can uh, write it as two raised to power one upon two square, right? One by four can be written as one upon two raised to power two. Then we can write it as two square Four can be written as, uh, four, we, we can write four as two square and in power it is one by eight. So we can write it as one upon two cube. Similarly, this eight we can write as two raised to power three or two cube. Power may two raised to power four, then uh, two raised to power four. Iske power mein aa jayega, two raised to power five. And this uh, product will go up to infinity, right? Sorry. So, uh, if you see, uh, okay, we will go one step further and uh, we will write it as two, nothing is there. So, uh, it is power one only and power will be multiplied by this. So, it will be one by two squared as it, uh, as it was earlier. But look at this term. It will be two raised to power two upon 2 raised to power 3, right? And it will become 2 raised to power 3 upon uh, 2 raised to power 4. Similarly, this term will become 2 raised to power 4 upon 2 raised to power 5. Okay? This will continue up to infinity. Now, uh, the, uh, the target behind this is, now the, you can see in this, the base term is same. Like the base term is two, uh, 2 only. So we can write it as 2 and this power will be summed up. Like we can sum the power of this. So it will become 2 raised to power to 1 upon 2 a square plus 2 upon 2 cube plus 3 upon 2 raised to power 4 plus 4 upon 2 raised to power 5. And this will uh, go up to infinity. So now what we will do uh, let's assume this as a uh, series. What's written in the power of 2, we will take it as a series S. So we can write S as 1 upon 2, 1 upon 2 square plus 2 upon 2 cube plus 3 upon 2 raised to power 4 plus 4 upon 2 raised to power 5 dot 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 up to infinity. Okay. Now, if you observe, sorry. If you observe, this is uh, uh, the terms written in numerator is in AP. 1, 2, 3, 4 with a common difference of 1. And uh, that is multiplied by a GP uh, with the common ratio 1 by 2. So, uh, for this, what we do, we use to we used to multiply this sum by the common ratio that is one by two s and we used to write the terms by shifting uh, one side uh, like uh, by shifting by uh, right hand side. So we can write it as uh, it will become one upon two q then it will become two upon <laughs> sorry two upon two raised to power four then 3 upon 2 raised to power 5 and it will go up to infinity. Now we will subtract this. We will subtract. So uh, subtracting this, uh, this minus this, we will have s by 2, right? 
s minus 1 by 2 s will be s by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 2 cube plus 1 by 2 raised to power 4 plus 1 upon 2 raised to power 5 and up to this will continue up to infinity. So again, uh, this is this this thing is forming a GP, right? This is a GP with a, a common ratio of 1 by 2. And the uh, first term is 1 by 2 squared or 1 by 4, we can say. So we can uh, write it as, uh, and this is going up to infinity. So uh, this is an infinite uh, geometric uh, progression series. So its sum can be written as A upon 1 minus R, sum of infinite series of a GP, right? So what is A? A is 1 upon 4 and 1 minus R, R is half. So 1 by 4 upon 1 by 2. So it will become 1 by 2. So from here, our S becomes 1, right? So what's written in the power of 2, this whole thing becomes 1. This whole thing becomes 1. Oh, sorry. Right. So uh, this S is becoming 1. So our product will be finally, our product will be uh, 2 raised to power S, what we have considered this, 2 raised to power S. So uh, it will be 2 raised to power S what we got s is equal to 1. So 2 raised to power 1 is equal to 2. So our product will be 2. This will be our answer. So option C is correct. Option C is correct for this question. <clears throat> now going ahead, let's move to question number 3. One series is uh, written here. 1 plus 3 plus 7 plus 15 plus 31 plus dot 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 up to n terms. So we have to find the value of the series up to n terms. Okay, let's do it. So let's assume this summation sum series as H, this summation as S. So it will be 1 plus 3 plus 7 plus 15 plus 31 plus dot 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 up to n terms. So we have to go up to n terms, right? Now, uh, if you observe the difference of the terms, the difference of the terms is will attain one progression. How? See, 3 minus 1 is 2, 7 minus 3 is 4, 15 minus 7 is 8, 31 minus 15 is 16, right? So, the difference of the term, the first difference of the terms this we are getting a GP. We are getting a GP. What is the uh, common ratio here? Common ratio is 2. Okay. So uh, for such type of uh, series, we can write the nth term as, <laughs> sorry. So, uh, so we can write the nth term for such type of uh, series as A, r raised to power n minus 1 plus b n plus c, right? What is r here? The r is the common ratio, common ratio which is obtained, which is obtained after taking the difference. So r here is 2, okay? So our nth term, we can write the nth term of this original series as a 2 raised to power n minus 1 plus b n plus c. And what is A, B, C here? A, B, C, look, A, B, C are uh, uh, constants here whose value we can uh, uh, identify, like whose value we can calculate. How to calculate? Uh, uh, we will see it. So uh, we can write the nth term. Uh, now we have written, since we have written the nth term, now let's find the value of A, B, and C. So put N is equal to 1 here. So we will get T1. T1 will be equal to A into 2 raised to power. 0, 2 raised to power 0, that will become A anyhow, plus B plus C. So I am uh, deleting it and writing A. So it will become A plus B plus C. 
when uh, when we have uh, taken n as one. So a plus b plus c is equal to now. What is the first term? First term is one. So we will equate it to one. Now let's write the uh, second term, putting n equal to two. So uh, it will become two raised to power one means two a, two a plus two b plus c is equal to what is the second term? Second term is three. And similarly, let's write the third term as two raised to power. 2 that will be 4a plus uh, n was 3 so 2 raised to power 2 4a plus right th plus 3b plus c is equal to 7 okay now uh, let's assume it as equation 1 this equation 2 this equation 3 so subtracting uh, equation 1 from equation 2 we will get a plus b is equal to 2 Similarly, subtracting 2 from 3, we will have uh, 2a plus b is equal to 4. Now, again, subtract it. Again, subtract it, we will have a is equal to 2, right? If a is equal to 2, put it uh, its value here. So, if a is equal to 2, b will become 0, right? So, a equal to 2, b equal to 0, then put uh, the value of a and b in equation 1 you will get 2 plus 0, 2 plus 0 plus c is equal to 1. So c will become minus 2 plus 1, that will be minus 1. So we got the value of a, b and c. So we got the value of nth term also, right? So uh, we can now we will write the nth term of the series as a was a is 2. So 2 into 2 raised to power n minus 1 plus the value of b is 0. So it will eventually become 0. And what is c? c is minus 1. So the nth term of the series becomes 2 raised to power n minus 1 plus 1 that will be n and minus 1. So this is our nth, nth term. Okay. Now we have to find the sum of uh, n terms. So, uh, simple, you put sigma tr. If n, nth term is the uh, this, then our rth term will be same, replace n by r, 2 raised to power r minus 1. So, sigma tr, where r is going from 1 to n. Okay. So, it will become sigma 2 raised to power r minus 1. r is going from 1 to n. So uh, distribute this sigma uh, over both the terms. It will become 2 raised to power 1 plus 2 raised to power 2 up to 2 raised to power n. And this will become minus n. Okay. So this is a GP with uh, first term as 2. So we will write it as 2 r what is r here r is 2 here r raised to power n means 2 raised to power n minus 1 upon r minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 minus n so it will become 2 raised to power n plus 1 minus 2 minus n right so this is our summation of n terms 2 raised to power n plus 1 minus 2 minus n so option b is correct <laughs> Sorry. So option B is correct for this question. Hope this is clear to all. Uh, now uh, let's take the next question, question number four. So 99th term of the series, this series is uh, given as 2 plus 7 plus 14 plus 23 plus 34 plus dot 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 and it is asking the 99th term, the value of 99th term. Okay. So series given is 2 plus 7 plus 14 plus 23 plus 34 plus dot 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 dot. So if you see, uh, now take uh, let's take the difference. So 7 minus 2 is 5. 14 minus 7 is 7, 
23 uh, minus 14 is 9. 34 minus 23 is 11. Okay, so uh, we are getting AP here after taking the first difference of the terms. So this is actually AP, right? This is actually AP with the common difference of 2. With the common difference of 2. So uh, for such uh, types of series, we write the nth term as, we write the nth term as a n square plus b n plus c. Right, where a, b, c are some uh, constants, which uh, we can uh, anyhow calculate like we did in our uh, last question. So, uh, but the important thing is the nth term for such type of uh, a series can be given as a n square plus b n plus c means it will be a quadratic in n. So uh, let's uh, try to uh, find the value of a, b and c. For that, uh, we will put n equal to one and we will find the value of a, t one. So it will become a plus b plus c. And what is t one here? t one is two. Similarly, find t two. t two will be four a. 4a plus 2b plus c equal to uh, 7. Second term is 7 here. The third term will be uh, 9a. 9a plus 3b plus c is equal to 14. Third term is 14. Now uh, let's take as equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. Subtract equation 1 from uh, equation 2. We get 3a plus b is equal to 5. Same way, subtract equation 2 from 3. It will become 5a plus b is equal to 5a plus b. C will be uh, cancelled out. 14 minus 7 will be 7. Now, again, subtracted, you will get 2a. B will... Uh, be cancelled 2a is equal to 2. From here we get a is equal to a is equal to 1. Now put value of a here. We will get uh, if uh, 3 means b will be 2. Now put the value of a and b in equation 1. 1 plus 2 3. 1 plus b is 2 plus c is equal to 2. So c will become minus 1. Right? C will become minus one. So we got the value of A, B, and C means we got the nth term. What will be the nth term? Nth term will be n square plus B, N, B, N, uh, A was one, no? And B was two, okay. So nth term will be N square plus two N and C is minus one. So this will be the nth term of the given series, right? The nth term of this series. So, uh, question is asking to find the 99th term, right? T 99th. So, we have to put the value of uh, ns uh, 99. So, uh, let's do one thing. Let's make it a perfect square. So, it will be n square plus 2n plus 1 and uh, minus 2. Right. Now the uh, benefit of this will be, it will become n plus 1 whole squared minus 2. So put now put n as uh, 99 here. So it will be 100 squared minus 2. That will be 10,000 minus 2. That will be nothing but 9,998. So this will be our 99th term. So option A. Option A is the correct one for this question. Okay, uh, so this question is done. Let's take our fifth question. So this one is sixth, this one is fifth. Okay. So let's take our fifth term. The sum of the series 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 plus 3 into 4 into 5 plus up to n terms is. Okay, so first write the rth term for uh, this series. First write the rth term of this series. So rth term we can write it as r into r plus 1 into r plus 2. 
right? Mm -hmm. This will be the rth term. Put uh, r is equal to three to uh, cross verify. So uh, t3 will be three into four into five. And here also three uh, t3 is three into four into five means rth term we have written correctly. Okay. So uh, uh, we have to uh, find the sum of this series. So uh, I will do one thing. Uh, uh, I will do uh, like uh, we will solve this question by uh, VN method. So what I will do, I will uh, try to uh, break this rth term. I will try to break this rth term uh, in terms of uh, like uh, in uh, difference of two such functions, which will be consecutive in R. Right. I will break this rth term. Uh, in such type of functions, which will be uh, consecutive in R. So uh, let's uh, try to figure it out. So I'm defining one function VR as, I'm defining one function VR as where I will be taking one, uh, like R, R plus one, R plus two into R plus three. Like I have uh, taken this extra term here, right? And uh, I will uh, also define VR minus one. Right. So what will be V R minus one? It will be uh, R minus one into R, then R plus one and R plus two. Right. Now take the difference of these two functions. Taking the difference of these two functions, it we will eventually see our the Rth term. How? Uh, let's do it first. Let's first uh, do it. So V R minus uh, V R minus one. So uh, V R minus V R minus one will become. So if you observe, these three terms are common. These three terms are common in both the functions. So I am taking that common. That will be R into R plus one into r plus 2 and what is left out left out is r plus 3 minus r minus 1 right so uh, it will become r into r plus 1 into r plus 2 and what will become r plus 3 minus r plus 1 means 4 like it will become 4 now you observe what is written here this r into r plus 1 into r plus 2 is nothing but our rth term, right? So we can uh, write it as 4 times of tr. This is what uh, our target was. We had to break, like we were trying to break this rth term as a difference of two functions which are consecutive in r. So we defined one function vr. We also defined one function uh, one less, uh, putting r less than 1. So uh, VR minus VR minus one is equal to our four times Rth term, right? So this is, this will be very uh, much useful. How? We will see now. <clears throat> From here we can say our Rth term will be one by four times VR minus VR minus one. Okay. Now uh, let's write our uh, first term. So our first term will be 1 by 4, put r is equal to 1 here, it will be v1 minus v0. What will be our second term? Second term will be, will be 1 by 4, v2 minus v1. Similarly, third term will be 1 by 4, v3 minus v2. Dot, 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 if we take the nth term, nth term will become 1 by 4, vn minus vn minus 1, right? Now sum it, add all. Adding all, we will get t1 plus t2 plus t3 up to tn. This is nothing but our sum to the n term is equal to 1 by 4. Now observe this thing. Min, uh, this v1 is getting cancelled out with this minus v1, this v2 thing is going out with this minus v2. Similarly, this v3 will go with minus v3 and this vn minus 1 will also go uh, from its uh, preceding term. So we are left with 1 by 4 into vn minus of v naught. 
So here we are left with Vn and here we are having minus V0. So our sum to n terms becomes 1 by 4 Vn minus V0. Now what is Vn and V0? We have defined the function Vr here. So put uh, n in place of uh, r. So we will get Vn and put 0 in place of r in Vr. We will get V0. So it will become 1 by 4 and n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3 and minus v v0 v0 will be nothing but 0 only so write 0 so finally we are left with n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3 upon 4 so this will be the sum to n terms so option c is correct Option C is correct for this question. So let's take the next question, question number six. One upon one into two plus one upon two into three plus one upon three into four dot 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 plus one upon n into n plus one. So here already the nth term is given as one upon n n plus one. So we can write the rth term as 1 upon r into r plus 1. Here also we will apply the VR method or uh, VN method. How? Uh, we will again break this TR in uh, two such functions will be uh, which will be consecutive in r. How? Let's uh, let me define one function VR as 1 upon r plus 1. Okay. So uh, what will be our VR minus 1? VR minus 1 will be 1 by r. Okay, replace r by r minus 1, it will become uh, r and this will become r minus 1 means v r minus 1, no. So, uh, replace it, no, r minus 1, let me replace. Okay, we have defined this as v r. So, replacing r uh, by r minus 1 here, we will get 1 by r only. Okay. So now this VR minus 1 minus VR, let's observe it. It will be 1 by R minus 1 upon R plus 1. Okay. So it will become R into R plus 1. Then uh, this will R plus 1 minus of R. So it will be 1 upon R into R plus 1. Right. So this is our VR minus 1 minus of VR. This is nothing but 1 by r into r into uh, r plus 1 is tr. So this is our tr or the rth term, right? So our rth term uh, becomes vr minus 1 minus of vr. Now, uh, let's identify, let's find out the uh, first term. So our first term will be V0 minus V1. Our second term T2 will be V1 minus V2. Similarly, third term will be V2 V2 minus V3. Okay. Similarly, it will go up to nth term. So nth term will be Vn minus 1 minus of vn now add all this adding all this it will become sum to n terms now observe here it will minus v1 plus v1 will be cancelled minus v2 plus v2 will be cancelled uh, then minus v3 this 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 thing will be cancelled out so we will be left out with v0 minus of vn okay so this will be our sum to n terms now sum to what is v0 v0 is put n equal to uh, 0 here in this uh, function. So n equal to 0 will be v0 will be 1 and uh, vn will be vn will be replace r by n it will be n plus 1. So our uh, sum of n terms will become v0 is 1 vn is 1 upon n plus 1. So n plus 1 n plus 1 minus 1 it will become n upon n plus 1. 
sum to n terms will be n upon n plus 1. This is our answer. So option B is correct. <coughs> Now let's take this seventh question. Sum of n terms of the series 3 upon 1 square plus 5 upon 1 square plus 2 square plus 7 upon 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 cube. 3 cube. Okay, well, there is one correction in this question. It will be 3 squared basically. So let me correct. This will be 3 squared. Okay. So we have to find the uh, sum of n terms of this series. Okay. So uh, let me uh, write, we can proceed with writing rth term and we will use uh, sigma method of summation. Let's try it. Let, uh, like our rth term will be, if you see, our rth term will be the uh, numbers in the uh, numerator are basically ap with the common difference of 2 and the first term being 3. Okay. So let me write it as like a plus n r minus 1 into d. Okay. a plus r minus 1 into d. Like I am finding the rth term of the uh, AP written in the numerator and in denominator if you see denominator it says 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square dot 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 up to R square okay so what is A here A is 3 plus R minus 1 D is 2 and uh, this thing 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 uh, square up to r square we can write it as uh, uh, like sum of uh, first n uh, uh, squares of first n natural numbers we write it as r into r plus 1 that 2r 2r plus 1 upon 6 right so this numerator will become 2r plus 1 okay 2r plus 1 and this will become r into r plus 1, 2 r plus 1 upon 6. This will go to a numerator and this 2 r plus 1, this 2 r plus 1 will be cancelled out. So, uh, t r means rth term in the simplest form, we can write it as 6 upon r into r plus 1. Okay. Now, uh, this question now uh, seems to be easy because here, once again, we can apply that VN method what we uh, did in uh, last, I think, fifth or sixth question. So, uh, this TR is basically 6 upon R into R plus 1. So, uh, now let me define one function VR. I am defining one function VR as 1 upon R plus 1. So, what will be VR minus 1 now? Our VR minus 1 will be 1 upon R. Okay. Now, let's take the difference vr minus 1 minus vr it will become 1 upon r minus 1 upon r plus 1 so this will eventually become 1 upon r into r plus 1 right and if you see 1 upon r into r plus 1 but our tr is 6 so we can write it as no 1 upon 6 into tr right so this vr minus 1 minus vr we can write this as 1 upon 6 into tr because if we put uh, tr the value of tr 6 upon r into r plus 1 so 6 and 6 will be cancelled out so it's okay we can write our so uh, from here we can write our rth term as we can write our rth term as 6 times vr minus 1 minus vr. Okay. So let's uh, write the first term. First term will be uh, v0 minus v1. t2 will be 6 times v1 minus v2. t3 will be 6 into 
v2 minus v3 similarly nth term will be 6 times v n minus 1 minus v n okay so uh, adding all these we will get uh, some two n terms as this v1 min uh, minus v1 plus v1 will be cancelled minus v2 plus v2 minus v3 plus v3 and so finally we will get sn as 6 times v0 minus vn okay now uh, what will be our v0 our v0 will be uh, put n equal to uh, or r equal to 0 here we will get v0 as 1 upon 1 and our vn will be 1 upon n plus 1 so our sum to n terms will become 6 times v0 is 1 minus vn is 1 upon n plus 1. So 6 times n plus 1, this will be n plus 1 minus 1, 6n upon n plus 1. So this will be the sum to n terms. Sn will be 6n upon n plus 1, option C. So option C is correct. So we are done with this. Now let's move to the next question. Question number eight. <coughs> question number eight, right. Uh, so one series is, okay, the, N, the value of nth term is given here as one by four into n plus two into n plus three for n equal to one, two, three dot, dot, dot. Then we have to find the value of 1 upon t1 plus 1 upon t2 plus 1 upon 3 t3 plus dot 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 1 upon 2000 third term. Okay. And nth uh, term, the value of nth term uh, they have provided. Okay. So nth term is given as, or nth term is given as 1 upon 4 into n plus 2 into n plus 3 okay so we can write 1 upon tn as we can write 1 upon tn as uh, 4 upon n plus 2 into n plus 3 right 4 upon n plus 2 into n plus 3 is equal to 1 upon nth term or 1 upon tn now let's uh, try to go through a uh, VN method because I am able to say that uh, we can express this one by TN as the difference of two such functions which are consecutive in N or R. So I am defining one function VN as uh, VN as 1 upon N plus 3. Okay. 1 upon n plus 3. So what will be vn minus 1? vn minus 1 will be replace n by n minus 1. It will be n plus 2. 1 upon n plus 2. Now take the difference of these two. This will be vn minus 1 minus of vn is equal to 1 upon n plus 2 minus 1 upon n plus 3. Okay. So, it will become n plus 2 multiplied by n plus 3. In numerator, it will become n plus 3 uh, minus, minus n minus 2, right? So, This plus n minus n will be cancelled. 3 minus 2 will be 1. So this will be 1 upon 1 upon n plus 2 into n plus 3. Right? This is our vn minus 1 minus vn. And what was our uh, nth term? Nth term was 4 divided upon, this was our uh, nth term, like I am taking 1 by tn as the like nth term, since our uh, question was asked in terms of 1 upon tn. So, uh, 
we can write it as uh, like one upon uh, let me divide it by one by four let me divide it by one by four so it will become four in the numerator okay right now so eventually we can say this v n minus one minus v n is equal to one by four times now we will rewrite it as we will rewrite it as one upon t n okay since one upon t n was uh, given as like we have calculated it as four upon n plus two into n plus three so this equation we will use further. <clears throat> so our 1 upon Tn will become, uh, this becomes equal to 4 into Vn minus 1 minus of Vn, right? So our 1 upon Tn, uh, 1 upon uh, T1 will be 4 into v0 minus v1 1 upon t2 will be 4 into v1 minus v2 1 upon t3 will be 4 into v2 minus v3 similarly 1 upon tn will be equal to 4 into vn minus 1 minus of vn right so uh, adding all this we will get the required sum what was asked in the question so it will be sum of n terms will be equal to 4 into these things will be cancelled out minus v3 plus v3 so v naught minus of vn right and uh, what will be v naught what will be v naught uh, vr is this function vn is this function so v naught will be put n equal to 0 there so it will be 1 upon 3 and our uh, Vn will be Vn will be 1 upon n plus 3, right? So our sum to n terms become 4 into V0 is 1 by 3 minus 1 upon n plus 3. Okay, but uh, let's see the question. Question is asking to find the value like 1 upon, it is, uh, it is saying to find the value of 2. 1 upon t 2003 only, right? t 2003 only. It is going up to, n is going up to 2003. So uh, let's put uh, n equal to 2003. So n equal to 2003, if we put our sum to 2003 terms, 2003 terms will become 4 into 1 by 3 minus 1 upon n is, 2003 plus 3, this will be 2006. So finally, it will become, let's take LCM 3 into 2006. So 2006 minus 3. Okay. So it will be 4 into 2003 upon 4 into 2003 upon 3 into 2006 right so let's uh, divide it by 2 it will become 2 it will become 1 0 0 3 further I think we will not be able to divide by it any number so it will become sum of 2003 terms will become 2 into 4003 will be 4006 upon 3 into 1003 will be 3009, right? So this will be our answer, 4006 upon 3009. 3, so let's see whether it is there in option or not, 4006 upon 3009, yeah, it's there in option D. So option D is right. <clears throat> so let's move to the next question, question number nine. <coughs> the value of one upon a, one plus a, two plus a, uh, into two plus a plus one upon two plus a into three plus a, and this series is going up to infinity. 
this series is going up to infinity, then we have to find the value of this series where a is the any constant. Where a is any constant. Okay. So this series. Uh, let us write the rth term first. Let us write the rth term for this series. It will become 1 upon uh, r plus a into r plus 1 plus a. Right? This will be the rth term. Let's put r equal to 3 here. Then it will become 1 upon 3 plus a multiplied by 4 plus a. 3 plus a plus 4 by a. Okay, the third term is going uh, coming correct means the rth term written is correct. Now, similar uh, similar process, we will approach this question by uh, VN method, we will, uh, where we will define VN as, where we will define VN as 1 upon R plus 1 plus A. So, our V, oh, sorry, R, since we are writing in terms of R, so let's write it as VR. So, VR minus 1 will become 1 upon, replace R by R minus 1, so it will become uh, R plus A. Now take the difference of these two functions. So V R minus 1 minus V R is equal to 1 upon R plus 1 and minus of uh, V R that is 1 upon R plus 1 plus A. Okay. So this will become R plus A in the LCM into R plus 1 plus A. This will become R plus 1 plus A minus R minus A. So minus A plus A minus R plus R. So eventually we got the Rth term itself. So V R minus 1 minus V R is equal to Rth term itself. Right? This is nothing but TR, no? So our TR, uh, so our uh, first term will be V0 minus V1. Okay. Second term will be uh, v1 minus v2 third term will be v2 uh, minus v3 similarly our nth term will be uh, vn minus 1 minus of vn so sum it so we will get uh, sum of n terms as v0 minus vn okay sum to n terms will be v0 minus uh, vn and what will be v0 v naught will be put r equal to 0 here. So it will be 1 upon 1 plus a. And what will be vn? Replace r by n. It will be 1 upon n plus 1 plus a. Okay. Now in question, the series is going up to infinity. The series is going up to infinity means what? We have to take n as infinity. So uh, our sum to n terms. Let me first write the sum to n terms. It will be V naught means 1 upon 1 plus A minus Vn will be 1 upon n plus 1 plus A. Now, we have to take uh, this sum when n is approaching to infinity. So, we have to take the limiting case where n is approaching to infinity. Okay. When this is the case, when n approaches infinity, this thing will go to 0. 1 upon infinity, this will go to 0. So, our a sum to infinity or uh, sum to n terms when n approaches to infinity becomes 1 upon a plus a. 1 upon 1 plus a. So, option a is correct. Okay. So, let's do this 10th question. I think this is the last question of this exercise. So, uh, let's do it. It is saying f of x plus y. Okay, fx is a function satisfying f of x plus y is equal to f of x into f of y, right? Where xy belongs to natural number. Okay, and f1 is given as 3. f1 is given as 3. Okay, f1 is given as 3. And uh, question is asking to find the sum of sigma fx where x is going from 1 to n. Okay, this is given actually. This is given as 120. Like uh, summation of uh, fx where f, 
uh, where x is going from 1 to n is equal to 120. f of 1 is given as 3. And this is uh, this function f of x plus y is equal to f of x into f of y. So we have to find the value of n. Okay. We have to find the value of n for which this uh, equation holds. Okay. So uh, let's take, let's use this uh, equation. So f of, we know f of x plus y is equal to f of x into f of y. Okay. So let x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1. So it will become f of 1 plus 1 that will be 2 is equal to f of 1 into f of 1. And we know the value of f of 1. What is f of 1? This is 3 into 3. 3 into 3. This is nothing but 3 squared. Now let's put x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. If we put x equal to 2, y equal to 1, it will become f of 3 f of 3 will be equal to f of 2 into f of 1. And we know the value of f of 2 as 3 squared. So this will be 3 squared into 3. This will become 3 cube. Similarly, if we put x equal to 3 and y is equal to 1, we will be able to find the value of f of 4. That will be nothing but f of 3 into f of 1. That will be 3 raised to power 4. Okay. So now we have to find the value of n here. Uh, let's open this uh, sigma first. So uh, it will be it will be f of 1 uh, plus f of 2 plus dot dot dot. It is going up to n. So plus f of n is given to be 120. Okay. So what is f of 1? f of 1 is 3. So let's write it as 3. f of 2 is f of f of 2 is 3 squared. So it is 3 squared. Similarly, f of uh, 3 will be 3 cubed. So 3 cubed. So f of n, what will be the f of n? It will be actually 3 raised to power n. And this is given to be 120. Okay. So what is this? This is a GP. This is a GP with uh, first term as 3 and the common ratio. Uh, first term as 3 and the common ratio is also 3. So let's uh, write this as sum of this uh, GP as 3 into r raised to power n. What is r? r is 3 r raised to power n minus 1 upon r minus 1. That is 3 minus 1 is equal to 120. Okay. So this will become uh, 3. Let's divide this 120 by 3. It will be 40, right? 3 choke bara. So 40 and uh, so 3 raised to power n minus 1 this becomes 2 2 into 40 or 3 raised to power n minus 1 is equal to 80 that is 3 raised to power n is equal to 81 or 3 raised to power n is equal to 3 raised to power 4 that means n is equal to 4. So this is our answer n is equal to 4. So option A is complete means option A is correct for this question. So we are done with this exercise. Hope uh, like everyone uh, uh, find uh, this uh, video useful because in this exercise, we have done a lot of questions on based on the method of summation. Uh, VN method, it has uh, it had a lot of questions on uh, VN method. So I have seen students struggling with this uh, VN uh, method. So it's not that much uh, difficult. Uh, so, uh, this is all for today. So, we will meet once again. Tab tak ke liye tata. Goodbye. Take care.